We're here at uh, Simon's cabin. I'm just gonna put up this last strip and then we got a, plenty of time, but we gotta get moving. We're gonna hike from Simon's cabin to my cabin, then go fly fishing, and then we're having a big dinner here tonight. And uh, this video is sponsored by L.L. Bean. It's a dream company for me to work for. I've worn them my whole life, so it's gonna be a sweet adventure. <coughs> and uh, yeah, enjoy. We couldn't have asked for a better October day. Simon was heading west soon, and this was our last full day together. So him, Noah, and I met at his cabin in the early afternoon. I thought it was... Uh, Wait, let me get, get well, we can, of this. Yeah, go for it. What, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then he gave me a bunch of flies and was telling me about oh my what God. to use on the west coast. <laughs> this is <like> special. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I love that. Just like sentiment. Oh, it's so it's good. Like, it was a perfect sentiment. <laughs> when it rains, you gotta kinda do this a little bit, you know? Oh, you recreated it of them. Well, here, uh, let me show you the, uh, well, like, Taylor and I also recreated it. So that's what I was Great, two guys with cameras. We started off by doing a couple last touches to seal up Simon's cabin. You gotta get it under the ladder. But you could probably stand on that sill. You might have slightly more mobility. And I was wearing my LL Bean flannel jeans and leather shoes, both of which I've owned for years and put through the ringer, as well as a new flannel and fleece vest. And Simon got a full new outfit. With a wool shirt, a canvas jacket, fleece lined jeans, and the boot versions of my shoes. Two of the coziest outfits you could imagine. Perfect for a brisk autumn day. Both of our parents have worn LL Bean their whole lives for a reason. And it feels good to carry on the tradition with a brand that I can really stand behind. One of the things I admire most about them is that they've been around for 108 years. That doesn't happen by accident and they test all their products in the lab and in the field, so you know they're doing it right. Visit LLBean.com to shop all the coziest products for the months ahead. And remember, you'll never regret time spent outside with the ones you love. Wow. Oh, that big, big guy? So we parked my truck at my cabin and then came back to Simon's and set out on our hike. Oh. The distance between our cabins isn't all that far as the crow flies, and there's some old roads that lead a good chunk of the way. Wait, this road? We had never done the walk before, and it was kind of surreal to think that after all these years, we both have spots in the area we grew up, and they're within walking distance of each other. You! The whole way, I was thinking of how fun this is going to be through the years ahead. It's so sweet that we all three now lo like have cameras and love filming and can just... Oh my god, it's so fun. It's, yeah. It is. Like that morning at the church and that whole thing. Wow, dude. This is a wow, this root thing coming out. Oh, this could be cool. You can go up. <laughs> She's still sturdy. She is. <laughs> All right, now jump to that one. Kyle's thinking about it. <laughs> through his land like we did when we were kids.
Hey! <laughs> Just sweaty. <laughs> we call that the party tree. That's where usually where we would come for birthdays and picnics over the years. One of my, um, I have a vivid memory of being on one of the corners and there was the old barn that we would always, like, I think walk up in the back and then there was a plank or something that mm -hmm. walked up to ground level yep. at the other end. Which part was that? I was over there. It was kind of swampy back there. Yep. It was so cool when it was up, though. Mm. It was so cool. And then we used to have the sugar house. Where was that? That was down the hill. That's ways. right. I Maybe one day we'll rebuild that. Let's see. It, it was, was kind of big, cool. wasn't it? It was. It, would be, it was like a full workshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. <laughs> No update. <laughs> Not when you're filming with Noah and Simon. <laughs> no. Now this is the field from the vi the apple picking video with Simon. We grew up, spent a lot of time in this field. In the beginning of that video, he talks about a porcupine real quick. And there, I think it was summer, what, 2017? 2017. We were both out in the, we were walking out in the middle of the field and there was a porcupine walking parallel with us and then all at once, or he sat down first, and then Simon and I sat down. He was probably 30 feet. Not even. Not even. You, we got pretty close to him. Yeah, because we kind of like forward 15 a bit. feet. And he just, I mean, porcupines have no natural fear of humans because yeah. they're kind of invulnerable yeah. to everything except for cars. Yeah. <laughs> and fisher cats. And fisher cats. So humans, they're just like, all right, what are you doing here? So he just wanted to hang out and catch up with us. Watch just the sunset. sunset for a second. Yeah. So we moseyed up through our favorite field heading for the party tree. And I'm pretty sure Mason buzzed us overhead in a plane. I gotta ask if it was him next time I see him. The last time I climbed it was when Taylor and I lived in the cabin. Which, that was summer 18? Yeah. We've been together for two and a half years. Is that your longest relationship? Simon, there's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's like dirt. Dude, it's so golden. Like, when you're climbing and you have your hands in front of your face, it looks like a video game. I, yeah, for real. Can you throw it up to me? I gotta get you. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> No, are you getting this? I think pushing it in the air. I'm... <laughs> Whatever feels most comfortable. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right to your face. <laughs> oh, it's at zero. Do tomorrow, I think Taylor and I are gonna go to Vermont and then head out. We're in Vermont. Um, I think we might go to Bennington 
or just kind of skirt the southern edge of Vermont as you go up by Mount Snow, that area. Mm -hmm. And then what's the plan once you get back to Idaho? Um, got a lot of editing to do. Oh, you're gonna do one film of your whole time here? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be big, but it's gonna be nice and not gonna only have it be four minutes like some people might <laughs> no, do with their cross country trip. No, I had video. a four minute video of a three week trip. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Scuttles by. <laughs> Wow, look at the hill. Dude. That's what I've never noticed. Once the speeds fall, is the view just becomes insane. Truly. And then there's just the party tree right there. Hold on. Ignited. I've never noticed this archway, like, or this gate to this whole section. to the top of the field, the rest of the way was downhill over the old roads. And when we arrived, I walked them through all the updates on the driveway and everything the boys and I had been working on. <laughs> so these are all blueberry bushes, this whole embankment, a couple more here. I always spin this corner and it kicks up dust. You always get the view of this hill. Now that the leaves are gone, oh, down into the valley, the shadow of Deer Hill. Wow. Wow. This thing is so steady. That's like 2012, like 2013 maybe. That's old. That's I feel really like it was old. like 2015. No, that was like was earlier. That's 2013. That was like early days of Instagram. Wow. That was back. to a favorite childhood spot of ours and fish till dark.
water was a little high and we didn't end up catching anything, but we got to watch our autumn world turn blue from the banks of the river that raised us. And that moment was everything. <laughs> and then Noah cooked us a delicious dinner over a fire. And there, in the forest on the mountainside, on a brisk autumn night, we celebrated a day well spent. And I thought to myself how happy I was Simon had come home in October. But come morning, he'd head west. And soon the leaves would all fall and everything would quiet down for a while. So it goes. Change is the only constant. Thank you to L.L. Bean for sponsoring this video.